Okay, so uh, TMZ just put out a report saying that Tom Brady and his wife Giselle Bunchen, you know, they're really going through a rough patch right now. It's a tough time, and it all seems to stem for the fact that Giselle, she wanted this dude to retire, and Tom Brady's looking at her like, girl, are you crazy? Do you know how good I am at this game? Like, I'm not about to put down these, these this football up for nothing. I'm not about to take off my cleats and hang it up when I can still spin it with the best of the best that's out there. Like... Girl, you tripping. Like, you best believe I had a life before you, and I'm definitely going to have a life after you. Don't make me get any ideas, because if you don't think that Tom Brady just seen what Leo DiCaprio just did, he just found old girl when she was, what, 21? Had her about four years till she turned 25, kicked her to the curb, and he's back with, like, another 22-year-old tenderoni. Best believe if Tom Brady divorces this girl... And he finds him a young joint, like one of them slim, slender models and like around that 22, 23 year old age, it's over. I can see Tom Brady playing like another four or five more years because best believe once a guy gets into his 40s and he gets with a girl in his 20s, you hear the same story every time. Oh my God. She make me feel so young again. She make me feel like I'm a kid again. Like I still got time. I still got energy. And watch, I won't be shocked that this marriage or this this relationship it ends up in Splitsville. They both go their separate ways. And Tom Brady gets a new joint and he just keeps on playing. He's, I can't really blame Tom Brady for not wanting to really retire, not wanting to hang it up. If you see the level that this kid is playing at, well, I can't really call him a kid. He's 45. But if you see the level this man is playing at at his age, it's like, man, I'm not retiring. I'm... Uh, I'm the best dude out there. Like, you can always get another chick. You can always get another wife. You can't get another football career. That's probably the mindset Tom Brady got in his head right now. Like, you know what? I have been with this girl for like 13 odd years. Like, that is a long time. And in this era and this day and age, anything over 10 years, man, that's a successful marriage to me, man. People grow apart. People split up. Like, you guys have kids together. Um, the kids ain't going nowhere. You guys can definitely co-parent. Um, you see Tom Brady here. He had a child before her. So if you had a child before her, what makes you think that in his mind, I can't have a child after her? Like, man, Giselle, even though I know she does make a lot of paper off the floor and she's really allowed Tom Brady to really take a bunch of discounts over the years. And so she's made sacrifices too because they got, what, two kids together, but they raised three and... For the past, what, maybe, what, 10 plus years, she's kind of had to do it alone. Because Tom, I'm sure during his you know, September all the way to pretty much February, because Tom Brady's usually in the Super Bowl. The schedule that he has is probably really busy. It's probably really hectic. He's probably not spending a lot of time with family. He's missing a lot of events, a lot of games and stuff like that. And she's probably seeing like, yo, man, I come home. Like, help me raise these kids together. And Tom Brady's thinking like, nah. I won't be able to, you know, sit at home, watch the games on Sunday, knowing that I can still be out there. That's what I feel like really bothers uh, Terrell Owens. And why I still feel like you see T.O. still working out is because to this day, T.O. still think he can play. T.O. still think he got like at least another couple thousand yards in him. Like he can, if you tell T.O. right now to get off his couch and, you know, next Sunday, to be able to play, he'll probably tell you, man, I can give you about 30, 40 snaps. And I think T.O. like 48 years old. He just has that mindset. That's how these guys are that great. You know, they really believe in themselves, and they really feel like, yo, can't nobody stop him, especially in our age. Tom Brady, they've been trying to call him out and get him to retire for like the past, what, four or five years, and he just keeps kicking down the door, keep kicking down the door. Father Tom comes knocking at the door, and Tom Brady just keeps like, mm-mm. Nah, not this year, not this year, not this year. So, pff, I just can't see Tom Brady, you know, really hanging it up, man. I just can't. Like, if you got to let this girl go, man, hey, man, do what you got to do, Tom. Because they said the reports were that um, he mysteriously spent 11 days away from the Bucks training camp, led to wild speculation on social media that he was shooting episodes with the Mad Singer, which he denied, or other reports claim he was with the Bahamas with his wife. Man, I don't think he was with the Bahamas, because if he was, man, pictures would have came out by now. Like, when you're that big and that big of a celebrity, anytime you go on vacation, 
there's always either fans going to be taking pictures or paparazzi that's even out there going to be taking pictures. Somebody's going to be sneaking something, even at like the hotel. As soon as you check in, like they they make a couple phone calls like so-and-so's in town, be on the lookout. And so I don't think Tom Brady was in the Bahamas, man. Anyway, the season starts this Sunday. I think Tom Brady's going to be out there spinning it like he always does without a care in the world. He's going to put all his off the field stuff in the rear view and do what he got to do, man. So, Tom, if you ask me, man, keep playing, man. Don't worry about her. Just replace her. She get out of line. It ain't nothing that cut that off. That's my take on this conversation, man. Like if you want to. Comment if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. If not, life goes on.